riding the limit which is 80 and it will warn me when I'm supposed to put on the steer uh, put on the hands on the steering wheel <clears throat> now let's see how it will Wow, it breaks really hard now we can understand this uh, yes but the concrete barrier there I'm not sure anyway can I let it go I don't want it to scratch that side here but I'm quite sure it will handle the situation I'm just too nervous to let it see be uh, be completely autonomous okay now like this it's dark outside also I'm not sure it's uh, really uh, used to dark either it's a bit quite close here I mean, it licks that line. It's really close to the right line, but who cares? It works. I mean, it's really relaxing. You really have both feet and hands at a relaxing pace. And the fact that it's slippery also <clears throat> just makes this even nicer you don't accelerate too much you don't brake too hard everything is perfect computerized smooth as the car wanted to react like the sensors are talking <clears throat> directly sensors on the wheels and road and temperature and everything is talking to, directly to the cameras of course They're talking di directly to the ECU and engine so I'm quite sure this saves quite a lot of fuel also. If we zero in on the consumption, just if we can make that zero. Anyway, yeah, now you can see it's uh, I cannot see which gear it is, but I'm quite sure it's 8th or 9th. Okay, like this. I see it's 8th gear. This car has 9 gears. I cannot shift up to 9th gear, see? But um, it's alright. See, I'm climbing down close to below the leader. Hello Mercedes. AMG, yes. And see now it's 80 and now boom. Changed to 70. And the speed limiter goes down to 70. That's just a great feature. I don't know, maybe the new 5 series G G30 also have this. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, you're driving so legally in this car with the help of the active driving. I mean, I haven't touched the steering wheel for such a long time. Imagine when it's packed snow, it will not work, but even when it's snowy condition, it's still very good because you're driving very relaxing. See, I'm getting overtaken in the leftmost lane. Let's change lane. But I mean the combination of be able to read the speed limits and connect that to the 
I was about to say the interior matches the bridge there. Let's change the interior now. Oh, I can play with the interior how much I want. Okay, see? Almost down to a liter per 10 kilometers. Oh. Okay, hello. Like that. Anyway, um... I should change the interior light. I'm not have not really learned how to master the settings yet. Uh, it's not during lightning settings because that's uh, that's uh, the exterior lights, as you can see. But it's so relaxing. <coughs> having 612 horsepower and a state that could go even with a brand new Z06 to 180 miles per hour uh, that you can have this relaxing ride in it <laughs> it's I'm kind of an, quite a fan of uh, of autonomous driving in a high performance sedan that's the key because I mean at any time you would like to be able to floor it and have that fun anyway I want to change the interior lightning I world problems notice the big IVC watch there when you choose clock pretty funny I never been driving this legally ever in a, in a car with the help of the autonomous systems. I wonder where is the See below a liter now. Good job. Sorry about that. Where is the interior? Oh yeah, here it is. I believe. Yeah. Have a look. Um, you know what? We're coming up to a tunnel. We need to do like this. Race. Like this. autonomous driving and you want to have this it's a great combination
<laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> you have a mini. Nice car. Yeah, you see the skid marks there? You do not want to end up like that. Okay, put everything in comfort. Where were we? I was about to change the interior lighting. Oh yeah, here. Okay, I, we might have need to have it on race just in order to make that mini driver happy. What? Two minis? One could press. Go. Oh, it's a quadrifoglio, you know, what am I about to say? Quadrifoglio word? Is that the name? Anyway, so I mean, autonomous driving on the E63S for Matic Plus is uh, really usable on highways. Uh, and I mean, like when you go longer stretches, you want to free your hands for, for, for a moment. And uh, it's really must to have that, that autonomous driving connected to the automatic cruise control. What's this? road is blocked. That's bullshit. We need to go around. Uh. Okay. I'll turn around. They blocked it off here. What's the deal? They closed off the full street. That's crazy. <clears throat> I heard some guy picked up a package and it exploded. Could be there. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I mean, the car is really fun. I haven't been close to touch the performance yet. Uh, but um, so many toys to play with. Uh, and I mean, the performance of this thing is crazy. We saw it on the airfield. That was an old cop car, come on. Anyway, um, so we can change it to blue. I don't know what they mean with more color animations. When will it change the colors? Climate. I mean, you hear the response of this thing is crazy. Now we need to wait forever for this. Sorry for this bad move. Anyway, the road was blocked, but yeah, see the different lightning? Also in the rear, it's really 
bright this light. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, these cobblestones, it's gonna be like soap. It's gonna be like soap. That's gonna be crazy. Surprisingly grippy, that's weird. Does this thing ends in a dead end? Come on. I mean, it's impossible to get home. Um, it's pretty nice. The blue now matches the instrument here. Here it's dry and down there it's not dry, it's so weird. Because this is okay, the surface. But dry cob or wet cobblestones, close to zero, that's not nice. Wasn't that the mini we met? Hmm. Can I do a right here or is it a dead end? <laughs> yes, it's a dead end. I can't believe this. It's incredible. Uh. That's an old Bentley, you see that? I mean, the sound of this car is just to die for. Please pass. All these diesel engines, come on. It's still so tight, the E class. I mean, I would just like to throw it in in two wheel drive and see how it, if, how it drifts, but. Uh, that's for the airfield. Okay, I'm from the right. Can you stop, please? Can you stop, stop, stop? Thank you. Maybe it's 50 here. Maybe it is. Yeah. Biker, of course. Here is 30. It, and it changed. It's incredible that how smart it is. was the E63, old one, the boxy one. So here I would really like to have autonomous driving, but I believe it, it 
cannot do that because uh, it's too much going on. Or is it? Steering wheel should be green, then everything is all right. So let's put it back to race then. I was like, what? Why is that going? I didn't have race, I had comfort in. Or is it because I have uh, I had cruise control in? Or maybe it sensed the steering system sensed that uh, I had car in front of me. Could be that. Okay, please green now. Green over there. I mean, Stockholm inner city has been a huge cock up because the politicians like to have uh, uh, bicycles instead. Autonomous driving work here? No. Probably not. Fedora, those are the worst cyclists in the world. I mean, people run nowadays with noise cancelling headphones. That's really dangerous as well. Because they don't... They don't hear you or see you. Anyway, that's it for some autonomous driving. Okay, go. Right rule. And he has to stop. I'm coming from the right. <clears throat> and here we have <laughs> Okay, here is P. That was that was reverse. Okay, there. P everything fine. Stop. And stop again. No, stop. Anyway, 